Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Let's have another episode of Math Room by Teacher Joan. In this video, we will be having another lesson in general mathematics. The topic is all about composition of functions. In this lesson, the learning objectives are the following. First, you should be able to define function composition. And second, perform compositions of functions. To achieve these learning objectives, the essential question for this topic is how to perform function composition. First, try to think of this. What would be the result if the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 is used as the input for the function g of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2? Using the rule in evaluating functions, the result would be the square of 2x plus 1 minus 2 times 2x plus 1 plus 2. As you can see here, if a function is used as an input, it leads to function composition. So now, let us take a look at its definition. Composition of functions. The composition of the function f with g, denoted by f circle g, is defined by f circle g of x is equal to f of g of x. As you can see here, g of x being a function is an input in f of x. As illustrated in the diagram, x is being placed in g and the result is g of x. Then afterwards, it will be placed or substituted in f, and then the result would be f of g of x. Focusing on this symbol, as you can see, the movement is from right going left. So it means to say, you will start with the value of x, x will be placed in g, then afterwards, the certain value will be placed in f. The process of obtaining a composite function is called function composition. And in doing this procedure, a new function is being produced. Let us now have some examples to easily understand the concept. Perform the following composition of functions. We have the given f of x is equal to x minus 2 and g of x is equal to x squared plus 4. The first item is f circle g of x. This one can be written in the form of f of g of x. As you can see here, g of x is the input in f. So since f is the function wherein we have to replace the x here with g, we'll go into write x minus 2. Then afterwards, replace the x with g, so we have x squared plus 4. Then we'll just simply copy minus 2. Here, what we can do is just to combine similar terms. So, we will now have x squared plus 2. So, f circle g of x is equivalent to x squared plus 2. Second example, we have g circle f of x. This is the opposite of the first item. So, here, as you can see, f will now be the input in g. So, we can write this in the form of g of f of x. Now, we are going to have the value of g, or the function g, so we have x squared plus 4. In this function, we have to replace x with the value of f, which is x minus 2. Since the given f of x is the input, since we have the square of a binomial, we have to recall how to do the square of a binomial. So once again, when you square a binomial, let's say we have a plus b squared. You have to square the first term. The middle is the product of 2a and b, so we have 2ab. Then the last term is the square of b, so we have b squared. Applying the same concept, here we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then, we still have plus 4. Combine like terms, we have x squared 
minus 4x plus 8. So, we can now conclude that g circle f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 8. Third example, we have g circle f of negative 2. As you can see here, there is a real number value for x. So, we can rewrite this in the form of g of f of negative 2. So, in this case, we have to start with the value of x, put it inside f, then afterwards, we have to put the value to g. Okay? So, to start with, let's find f of negative 2. So, here we have x minus 2 is the function. Replace x with negative 2. What we are doing here is just evaluating a function, so we have the value of negative 4. Now, we already have the value of f of negative 2, which is negative 4. That value will be placed in g. So now, we have g of negative 4. Again, we got this since f of negative 2 is negative 4. So here, we need to use the function g, so we have x squared plus 4. Replace x with negative 4, so we have negative 4 squared plus 4. Simplify, we have the square of negative 4 is 16 plus 4, which is 20. So meaning to say, g of f of negative 2 is equivalent to 20. Last example, we have f circle g circle f of 2. This given can be written in the form of f of g of f of 2. As you can see here in this given, we are using three functions. And to answer this kind of problem, we have to start with the innermost function. So we have to begin with f of 2, then afterwards place the value in g, and then in f. So it means to say that we have to do it from right going left. So let's start. We have f of 2 is equal to the function f, which is x minus 2. Replace x with 2, so we have 2 minus 2 gives us a value of 0. So f of 2 is equal to 0. Now we are done with f of 2, so we have to put this inside g. So we have g of 0 is equal to the function g, which is x squared plus 4. Replace x with 0, so we have 0 squared plus 4. Simplify, we have 4 as the value of g of 0. This value is also the value of g of f of 2. Now we're done with the first two functions. We have to put this value inside f. So we now have f of 4, which is equal to the function f x minus 2, then replace x with 4, so we have 4 minus 2, and the answer is 2. This value is equivalent to f of g of f of 2. Now, apply what you have learned in the discussion. You may pause the video to answer the following items. Let's check our work. Item number 1, we have f circle g of x. The answer here is x squared minus 1. Item number 2, f circle f of x. The answer here is x minus 10. Let's have the next items. Again, you may pause the video so you can answer the following items. Item number 3, g circle g of 1. We have an answer of 29. Item number 4, f circle g of negative 3. The answer here is positive 8. Here are the key takeaways. These are the things that you need to take note about composition of functions. Again, when we say composition of functions, this is a different way to produce a new function. Here, you will use a function as an input in another function. And to know if you're doing composition of function, take note of the symbol f circle g of x, which is also equivalent to f of g of x. Again, the movement is from x going to f. 
from right going left. That's the end of our discussion on composition of functions. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned a lot in this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be updated. Bye everyone! See you in our next video.